my junior year, four games into our season in February, I found out that I had a torn labrum in my hip. So it's just like um, kind of the cushion in your hip socket, essentially, <laughs> um, in simple terms. And I had a hip problem since high school. So I knew it was kind of coming. Um, but I found out it was torn. I was too late to redshirt, so I played the rest of my season, which ended up being super painful, but <laughs> I managed. Um, and by the end of the spring, I was kind of talking to my trainer and the surgeon that worked with our school about like what to do, like what were my options, that kind of stuff. And basically the two options were to get surgery or to get, or to do nothing. Okay, three options. <laughs> to do nothing, get surgery, or cortisone injections in my hip until I finish playing lacrosse. And I did some more research, asked questions, and I was like, why would I get cortisone injections in my hip for another year and a half and set myself up for a hip replacement at, what, 30? Like, that makes no sense, and that's what they were pushing to me. They didn't want me to get surgery. They told me that I didn't need it. And then meanwhile, I'm going to practice and I can barely take reps in practice because I'm in pain and then I'm just playing in games. Like that just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I was like, where's like the accountability, the support for me, like as a human being, not just an athlete, as a human being. Like, yeah, you need your legs after you're done playing lacrosse. <laughs> yeah, like well, I'm going to graduate and then great. Like I'm not going to be able to do all the things that I want to do post-grad, like I'm, I'm an active person. Like I ski, I do all these things. Like I want to be able to do those things. And I can't, if I'm getting injected with whatever is in a cortisone injection for a year and a half, mm -hmm. that didn't make sense to me <laughs> at all. Yeah. So what did you end up doing? 